It's 6 a.m. in the cave, and that means it's time to talk about crypto dads. Welcome back to LimeTube, and if you enjoy my videos, please leave a like and subscribe and post a comment about what content you'd like to see more of. With that, let's get into the video. For transparency, I currently own only one crypto dad. I'd love to own more, but they're currently too expensive. I bought it for 0.36 Ethereum on the day of reveal. That was because I missed out on pre-sale and public mint. I bought it off OpenSea before reveal. I currently have an offer of 0.9 Ethereum on it, so about two and a half times return if I wanted to accept it. However, the floor price is currently at 1.15 Ethereum. For those of you who haven't seen the art, it is a very Bob Burgers-esque style of art to it. The reason why I decided to film a video on crypto dads today is two reasons. Crypto mums are coming to join the gang and they hosted an AMA the other night. Luckily for me, Bruce, one of the dad holders, has posted notes on the AMA. So I'm going to read over these today to give you information of what went down. Shout out to Bruce for the notes. Daily Dad, complete recap of today's Founders AMA. The big news today, of course, was the Founders AMA with Anthony and Josh. Below you'll find copious bullets that relay everything discussed during the call. But I wouldn't be a very good curator if I didn't point out a few key points that stood out to me. So here are my five takeaways from the Founder AMA. First one is they are being patient and methodical with the development of the Crypto Dad show. It sounds like they are not comfortable with the kinds of terms we might get from Netflix or Fox in terms of playing royalties for the use of dads in the show. So right now, the plan seems to be pursuing a show on YouTube with a number of proven professional writers they've been talking to and working with. I salute this. There is no reason to rush a show. The worst thing to do would be rushing a show and it not being good. It's much better to be patient and create something high quality with beneficial terms for community members. I agree with Bruce. A lot of times, especially in the NFT space, we're seeing things being rushed and rushed out. And then if it doesn't hit instantly, it's deemed a failure. And I think it's better to take some more time out and make sure it's good quality before rushing around to try make it out as quick as possible to get in on the hype. Number two, you need to use MetaMask wallet address for the wallet snapshot. I didn't realise this. So if you have dads in a non-MetaMask wallet, you either need to transfer it to MetaMask or import that wallet to MetaMask. Number three, they are 100% committed to crypto dads and the infrastructure for the organisation is growing. There was a lot of discussion about MetaReact, the new umbrella company that will help build out the infrastructure of the crypto dads metaverse. Community members will have an opportunity to interview for roles to join the team. They are also bringing on a full-time content creator, for example. Hiring help will free up Anthony and Josh to focus more on engaging with the community. So to reiterate this point, in the AMA, they were really going over that whatever comes along, crypto dads will always be at the forefront. Get ready for lawnmowers. There were some sneak peeks from the brand partnership with West Coast Customs. Get ready for some premium lawnmowers that we will all be able to bid on and which will probably have the utility for the lawnmower racing game. One thing to highlight about the lawnmower game, my dad that I'm currently holding is bald and apparently they might get some sort of speed boost being streamlined. The focus is utility, utility, utility. This is the real biggest takeaway. Anthony and Josh are clearly focused on making sure that Crypto Dads is not some flash in the pan. They sound committed to everything they release, providing specific utility to the community. For example, there were many questions about the CDAD token. Yes, it's still a plan, but they aren't going to launch it until they have a solidified plan for it being useful and not turning into a bad coin. And there are many other ideas for how to stake and potentially earn passive income. Really, this quote by Anthony summed it all up. Everything Josh and I say we're going to do, we're going to do. We can't sleep at night if we don't. They are focused on fulfilling their promises and making sure those actions deliver real value to the community. That sounds like a smart plan to me. Now for all the nitty gritty details. Founder AMA Rundown. Here is a complete rundown of pretty much everything Anthony and Josh discussed during the AMA. While you read this, I'm going to spray my keyboard with a fire extinguisher. 
had to type fast. Please excuse any typos. Announcements at the beginning. October 19th continues to look like the launch date for Crypto Mums. They've been working hard to expand the team and will be posting a call out for help with web development. Big Dad Energy Drink will have sugar and non-sugar options. Even if they've been a little quieter of late, their focus is 100% on Crypto Dads, expanding the brand and rolling out utility. Meta React is an umbrella company for developing the Crypto Dads metaverse. Meta React won't be public facing, it will house the infrastructure for building Crypto Dads. Working to do an in real life event over the next couple of months. And Anthony clearly needs a more reliable mic setup. Q&A responses. Yes, the Ford Raptor giveaway is 100% happening. Just trying to be patient and get a new one. Also on a waiting list for a Rolex and they want the delivery to be in person and make it a fun event. Now this is really interesting because if someone wins the Rolex, they're going to have to travel somewhere abroad to be able to deliver the Rolex in person, which is both exciting and cool for the winner. The lawnmower game is coming, but more of a mid to long term timetable, not imminent, planning it as a play to earn game. So once again, as I said, it's better to not rush things. So they're taking their time and making sure it's a good game before bringing it out. Regarding the CDAD token, it's still a plan, but the team is committed to not creating a bad coin. If the coin happens, they want to be methodical in planning and launching it so that it has specific purpose and utility. There are plans in place to add utility and time marketing for crypto dads to help stabilise floor price after crypto mums mint. Will there be a DAO? They are talking to DAO experts to help consult on how to roll this out likely to be implemented as a way to decide how community wallet funds get dispersed. They reinvested minting funds beyond art and dev expensive back into crypto dads. Same with resale funds. There are additional investors as well. They continue to talk to writers about crypto dads TV series. They have a call with the VP from Fox soon. Any merc that gets sold for profit, shirts, hats, beers, whiskey, etc. goes into the community wallet. Still working on finding a supplier for beer, trying to find the right structure that benefits the community. The whiskey is a go with mile high spirits. Will be a very limited batch of whiskey and don't plan to sell it due to legalities. Unlikely available overseas. First in real life event will probably be at mile high spirits. When crypto mums get sminted, they are going to turn up the traits a lot so the mums will have more traits. Regarding passive income and staking, this is being discussed with developers and leaning toward would happen in conjunction with CDAP tokens, which makes sense that some way there's a utility for you to earn CDAP tokens, which will bring you passive income. Crypto mums will have a similar utility to crypto dads as well as crypto tots. They want it to be like Disney, where everything built coexists in the same world and has valuable complementary utility. There is no time limit on crypto mum minting, but they are reserved for the wallet addresses in the snapshot. The minting of the crypto mums will be random. Important. Will only MetaMask wallets be supported for minting? Yes. They are working hard to make sure that non-US residents can experience the same utility as US residents. Always a positive for someone like me based in the UK. For wallet snapshot, yes, you will need to have your dad in your wallet to mint a crypto mum even if the dad was present at the wallet snapshot time. Currently, this is an assumption, but it looks like you can't sell your crypto dad if you want to mint your crypto mum. So make sure you mint your crypto mum before you sell your crypto dad if you plan on selling. They will get the crypto mum and crypto top OpenSea collections verified as soon as possible. No, mums do not have to stay married to the dad they are minted with. They are working to expand the merchandise. It's unlikely we'll see any Crypto Dads merc in major retail stores or supermarkets. They'll try, but no promises. Should be able to get alcohol products in smaller liquor stores. There's no plans to do any events simply to benefit Crypto Dads, but participate in events that benefit charity, yes. One issue with Netflix is that they'd want to take a lot of the rights without paying a lot of royalties. Anthony and Josh are trying to ensure that dad holders maximise their commercial rights. Expect more involvement from Anthony and Joshua in Discord moving forward, especially with communication. 
do you know what? From now on, I'm going to call Anthony and Josh AJ or Anthony Joshua because I keep seeing that and wanting to say AJ. The additional investors in Crypto Dads are people Anthony has worked with for a while in his e-commerce past. They are part owners in MetaReact and have a lot of good connections. Yes, community members will be able to work at MetaReact. Expect more details over the next 48 hours. They've actually posted a job opening already on their Discord channel. Check it out if you're interested. It's for a web developer. Yes, you can choose which crypto mum crypto dad permutation could be mum mum or dad dad you use to mint a crypto top and there will be ways to pass traits on. No anticipated users to use in Ledger with MetaMask to mint crypto mums. Just make sure it's connected properly. Regarding the floor sweep, they are probably going to run a poll to let the community choose when or even if it should happen. I don't think a floor sweep is at all necessary. Um, the price of the floor should organically rise rather than forcing it to rise by buying the floor. Updating dad bodies or traits would be very difficult and possibly not even worth it. The crypto mums traits will vary widely so that they relate to a lot of people. What happens if NFT liquidity dries up? Lots of utility tied to owning dads that give them intrinsic value as opposed to just a speculative value. Hair transplants for dads, something they're considering. Get ready for full time live streams with the crypto dads artist to see her work on the art. Still considering getting land at Sandbox or Decentraland while the Crypto Dads only land is being built out. They'll probably have a raffle to cover the costs of a travel to a Crypto Dads in real life event in Denver. They are planning an in-house podcast to discuss Crypto Dads stuff as well as general NFT news and education. Crypto Mums will most likely be instant reveal. Crypto mums will have unique social media accounts, but everything will be housed in the same Discord. Yes, we're legally clear with Bob's Burgers. This was true from the very beginning of the project. You can't copy an art style and nothing in Crypto Dads is a duplication. Oh, and here's some early looks at some special Crypto Dads lawnmowers from West Coast Customs, which will only be available in very limited quantities via auction on OpenSea. So here's one of the designs for the lawn mowers and the other design is here. This is a clearer pick of the lawn mower. Looks pretty sweet. Note, there will be other lawn mowers besides these for use in the game. Don't think you have to win one of these auctions to be able to participate. More information to come with the lawn mowers. Bruce does this post daily and the rest of this article is about crypto dads in general and nothing from the AMA. To keep the video shorter, I'm going to skip over this, but I'll include a link in the comments to this website for you to take a read if you're interested. Just one thing I spotted though is also this dad went for 2.4 Ethereum. That will prove to be a massive steal. So when we look at this dad, you'll know why it went for 2.4 Ethereum and why it was a steal. So the crypto dad that sold for 2.4 Ethereum is 1920. As you can see, it's got laser eyes and that makes it pretty rare. Not only that, it has a Kobe 24 jersey on. So if you saw my video on KB24 NFT and you made pre-sale, good on ya. So those of you who haven't seen the crypto mums images, I'll show you a couple that have been put on the Discord channel. Um, they're pretty neat, similar style to the dads. Um, you can spot some unique traits, uh, the necklaces, the smiles, the glasses, the hair, the headpiece. The earrings here, I guess on this one, the makeup too. Different outfits as well. There's a winky face one. And once again, another one with a massive headpiece, catfish, I'm guessing, unicorn one. And this is one of their one out of ones, Princess Leia. And also the other one out of ones they've shown is Betty Boop. There's a lot of exciting stuff happening over at Crypto Dads right now uh, with Crypto Mums being released October 19th. Don't forget the snapshot date is October the 15th. There's the lawnmower game and the TV show. They're also planning on bringing out the 
token as well and generating passive income it's a very exciting place to be and i can see their floor price organically growing let me know in the comments if you own a crypto dad and if you're excited for crypto mums and tots and as always please like comment and subscribe thank you very much mm -hmm.